LST here. Uh, I'm just experimenting with uh, Camtasia's background replacement. So if you, if there is, a, if you can see the background, then uh, it hasn't worked. So anyway, in this video, we are going to take another look at data modules. This time, what did you put in your data modules? Well, obviously, uh, data sets, uh, queries and tables and uh, connections to databases and all those things, data set providers, all of that kind of stuff can be placed in a data module. And that's uh, kind of, you know, it's a data module. So it uh, makes sense that that can go there. But really, any non-visual control can go in the data module. So if, if I put an action list in there, I could do that. Uh, I would, of course, avoid this action list talking to any um, form. Uh, because we don't want the data modules talking to forms. That's bad. Ideally, uh, it would interact with other things within the data module or other data modules or other business logic possibly as well. So an image collection is an excellent thing to put into a data module. Uh, there we go. And we can add Im images uh, to that, and I'll just pick a couple of random images uh, from the downloads. For, oh, some some daily images. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I don't know why it's not previewing some of these, but let's just grab a few of them. And then we've got uh, a few images. Uh, none of these I ended up using in my book, but they're um, <laughs> my code better on Delphi. So um yeah so putting the image collection in a data module and then on the form of course you'd have a virtual image list and would have that talking to that and i can add uh so the three bears looking at a moon and i've set that default to 16 by 16 and um there's a button, uh, images and image index zero. Oh, sorry, that's hot image index. There we go. And we might say, well, that, that image is too small. Let's go 24 by 24. Anyway, digression. So you would put your image collections on your data module, but image lists need to go on uh, respective forms. This is because when you move the form between different monitors, they might have different DPI settings and they'll need to grow and shrink appropriately. And having the virtual image list on the form will make sure that your images on buttons and things uh, stay appropriate sizes. So other stuff, um, say XML something or other, uh, XML document um, and so on. So any any non-visual control. Now it may also be the case that you want your data module to be cross-platform. And if we uh, look at this, we see that we have it saying we can have VCL controls. But if I set this to system classes dot persistent, we'll get a warning to say that the action list and the image collection uh, both VCL only. And so we'd have to remove those if we wanted the starter module to be cross-platform and likewise with FMX. So for this module, we're stuck with uh, it being VCL controls because we've already got some on there. Now that this is a, a virtual property. It actually comes from this here. Um, which is kind of kind of like a compiler directive, but it's a little bit different. Anyhow, um, so that's kind of all I wanted to cover in this video. Check out the last video. I'll make a, a, a card for it. And also my book, Code Faster in Delphi, is available in print and electronic version. And my new book, Code Better in Delphi, is just out in the last few days and is available electronic only presently, but I'll get the uh, Amazon print on demand version available very shortly so thank you for watching uh, and if you want to support the channel a like subscribe or buying a book uh, 
all of which are excellent ways of helping me continue to uh, produce these videos. So thanks very much. Uh, I'm Alistair, and I'll see you in the next video.